I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Acts 2, 21. And through signs, science, and symbols, the Lord has prepared us for the end that is soon about to come. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. Genesis 1, 3. The Hebrew word for light is our, which means sunlight. For the sun was the light from the very beginning. And what is light? Light is defined as the natural agent that stimulates sight and makes things visible. But what is darkness? Darkness is the Hebrew word chosek, which means darkness but also means night and ignorance. For darkness is the absence of light, as ignorance is the absence of knowledge, and night is the absence of day. For in the beginning God divided creation into two, that is darkness and light, ignorance and knowledge, and night and day. And on the first day God created night and day. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, one day. Genesis 1, 5. And through the creation of night and day, God created time. For day is derived from the Hebrew word yom, which means the division of time. Thus, in the beginning, God created time by dividing night and day. And what is time? The Hebrew word for day is yam, which also means from sunrise to sunset. In other words, when the sun brings forth its light, it is day. And the light was meant as a sign to govern time. For as God said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. Genesis 1, 14. But as long as the light remained in the heavens, the earth remained in the darkness. But the light would come down to the earth, for as it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and apart from Him nothing came into being that has come into being. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. John 1, 1 through 5. For the Father sent his only begotten Son to bring light into this world. And what does the light give us? It gives the earth life, for only through light can there be life. And the Greek word for light is phos, which means to come from the light. And phos is the root for photosynthesis, which is the process by which green plants and some other organisms use sunlight to synthesize foods from carbon dioxide and water. The scientific equation for photosynthesis is And it is only through photosynthesis that life can exist on this earth.
For all life requires water and sunlight to live, and all men require water from the Father and light from the Son in order to live. For as the psalmist said, For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Psalms 36.9 And the Greek word for life is zoe, which means both physical and eternal life. And zoe is the root of zoology, the study of life on this earth. And zoologists have concluded that it is the sun that provides light and gives light to this earth. It is the sun who is light, that gives us life both in this world and in the life to come. For as the sun would testify, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. John 8, 12 And as we recall, darkness also means night. And through the sun we no longer walk in darkness, but in the light of day. And we are to work while it is still day. For as the sun said, We must work the works of him who sent me, as long as it is day. Night is coming, when no one can work. John 9, 4 And as we recall, darkness also means ignorance, the lack of knowledge. Yet most have chosen ignorance over knowledge. As the sun said, The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. John 1, 5 And the Father offered to us His only begotten Son, the light, so we could have vision and see. And by seeing and believing in the Son, now we are sons of the light. While you have a light, believe in the light, so that you may become sons of light. John 12, 36 What is the physical property of light? We now know that light is actually a very small amount of mass. And the Son of Man is mass, for he came down to earth in the flesh. And the Greek word for light is phos, from which we get the word photon. For light from the sun travels to the earth as a mass, a bite, a minute mass called a photon. And if we take Einstein's theory of relativity, we can apply that which we now know. E equals mc squared, where E equals energy, m equals mass, and c equals the speed of light. And from this formula, because the speed of light is constant, we can extrapolate that energy is proportional to mass. And the sun is the light of the world. For as the sun said, I am the light of the world. John 8, 12 And every man who chooses to do so while on this earth as a mass can receive the light of a sun. There was the true light, which coming into the world enlightens every man. John 1, 9 Thus energy is the mass of man times the sun squared. And through this equation, we now understand the great energy that our works through the light can produce. Whereas Paul said, I strenuously contend with all the energy Christ so powerfully works in me. Colossians 1.29 For the Greek word for energy is energia, which means work. Thus, we work with all energy to spread the word as sons of the light. And man will know the light, for they see the light, and the light of God will dwell amongst them. For the light is God, and there shall be no night there. They need no lamp nor light of the sun, for the Lord God gives them light, and they shall reign. 
forever and ever. Revelation 22, 3.